Hi, and welcome to SeaTech. I'm Tony Zeal, and we've put together this short series of films to show you all you need to know about our D250 SE and SmartPass 120S DC-DC onboard charging system. In this film, I'll be showing you how to make the correct connections to ensure you get the best performance from your DC-DC onboard charging system. By the end of this film, we will have covered how to find the correct feed from the fuse box, fit the correct inline fuse to the starter and service battery, correctly wire the DC-DC system, how to wire a battery monitor to the system, and how to program the D250SE and SmartPass 120S. To enable Smart Alternator Mode on the D250SE or the SmartPass 120S, the small red wire must be connected to an ignition feed. And that's plus 15 or DIN 72552. Okay, so how do we find the feed from the fuse box? With the use of a voltmeter or test light and with the ignition off, check if any voltage is present at the fuses. Make a note of the fuses that do not have a voltage present. Then turn the ignition on and see which of these fuses now have voltage present. Choose a fuse with the lowest rating. And now, using the breakout fuse block shown in the video, you can safely take an ignition feed from the fuse box. This can now be used to feed the red cables on the DC DC unit. This combined system is capable of handling over 300 amps. So a good connection is vital for both performance and safety. This is the way we would recommend all cables required are made up. The D250SE is capable of charging flooded, AGM and lithium batteries. It's also smart alternator compatible. So to enable the smart alternator function on both the D250SE and the SmartPass 120S, the small red wire on each unit should be connected to an ignition feed. Now that's plus 15 or DIN 72552. If you have a standard alternator, you can leave this wire disconnected. If you're unsure what alternator you have, please contact your local dealership. For the D250SE to charge normal flooded batteries, the small black wire should be left disconnected. For the D250SE to charge AGM, the small black wire should be connected to earth or ground. For the D250SE to charge lithium batteries, the small black wire must be connected to a permanent live feed. This is how to correctly wire the DC-DC system. Earth or ground to monitor shunt. Inverter into non-critical consumers connection on the SmartPass 120S. Earth or ground to D250SE. Solar connections. Feed from starter battery. Feed to service battery from SmartPass 120S. And this is a step-by-step -step guide on how to correctly wire a battery monitor into the system. Each unit comes with a copy of the instruction manual, which will tell you everything you need to know. You can also download the manuals at www.ctech.com. And if you need any more information, simply email us at info.ctech.se. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.